All right, welcome back. So now that we have our attack system working, um, yes, okay. So now that we have our attack system working, we need to make it so that when we um, actually attack our enemy, our enemy will die, right? So for example, like, okay, well that. <laughs> anyway, um, so I also noticed a problem here. When whenever we're moving and I click space bar, I actually never switch to the attack animation. Why is that? Uh, and then you can see our idol is broken. That's because now that we're now now when we're moving, now that when we're moving, um, the moving action right here, it's fighting our attack action again attack animation action again right here so what do we need to do if we need to do the same thing as what we did here <laughs> okay so basically we only set the uh running animation if we're not attacking okay so so that's that way we don't override it um okay so we're gonna do that by adding a action we're gonna say if attack it's false and then we're going to uh, make sub condition and supplement block. Okay, then we'll move all these off down there. Ha! Hold down shift and select all of them, and drag all these under that statement right here. Okay, let me delete this blank one. So only set the animation. Um, only set the animation to the um, when you're walking only do that when you're not attacking so when you're attacking keep doing the attack animation if you are not attacking then you can set the walk animation does that make sense let's give it a try walking attack okay cool attack uh okay <laughs> all right cool so now we got that done. Um, next thing we need to do is that when we're attacking and we hit the enemy, we want to kill the enemy, right? Cool. Actually, we can just since we have an attack variable, we, we can just say when the player is attacking and you touch the enemy, we kill the enemy, right? Let's do this on the enemy side because from the enemy's perspective. So let's say when the enemy touches so when it's um overlapping player okay when the enemy is overlapping player and if attack is true uh oh wait if it ends they win right so that's a second condition and if the player is attacking it's attack okay if those both are true then the uh, enemy will get destroyed as such okay let's try this attack oh well that's upsetting <laughs> okay uh, why is that well that's because we have two st two statements fighting each other again when the player touches the enemy it doesn't matter when you're attacking or not the player gets destroyed so how about this? We'll, we'll add a nice statement here. Um, okay, so when the player is touching the enemy and you're not attacking and the attack is false, then the player gets destroyed. Okay, and then when the enemy touches the player and attack is enabled, then the enemy gets destroyed. Alright, so that way they don't fight each other. Let's try this again. Attack. Alright, we sliced the enemy. That's awesome. Okay, let's try this again. Attack. Alright, cool. So now we got attack system done. But I think we will have a problem here. Uh, but I'll show you how. Let's say I'm like facing downward when I do my attack. My sword actually never touches the enemy, but it still killed the enemy. That's just no good, right? That's just not 
good game mechanics. We want it so that when you, when the sword, right, when the actual sword touches the enemy, you want to kill the enemy then. Not, you know, having your back touches the enemy, like none of that. Uh, but okay, so we're going to do that on the next video. This is the advanced attack system. Well, I'll see you then.